patient coming with some pain and later what happened? What was the guy taking and what happened after taking this thing? Hi friends, today we are going to have a talk on happy gas or laughing gas in Anitox. Laughing gas is nitrous oxide. This sedative was discovered by the English scientist Joseph Priestley but was later dubbed as laughing gas in 1799 by a chemist Sir Humphrey Davy. This was basically used for recreation in public shows for 40 years until in early 1840s a dentist recognized it has an efficacy for using in sedating patient and helping them to relax during dental procedures. How does it produce laugh? Although the gas has been used for a long time, its exact mechanism of its action in the body is incompletely understood. Some doctors think that it displaces the air in the lungs and prevents oxygen from getting into brain and blood. This deprivative caused all the giggles. Some doctors even think that it interacts with the neurotransmitter and brain receptor much in the same way as opioids and benzodiazepines. So this gas binds the opioid receptor to reduce the sensation of pain and interacts with the GABA receptor to reduce anxiety. The GABA receptors are a class of receptors that respond to the neurotransmitter gamma aminobutyric acid, the chief inhibitory compound in mature vertebrate central nervous system. This medication also triggers the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that regulates feeling of pleasure and euphoria. As I mentioned before, this is used as a sedative in dentistry to help patients feel more at ease and relaxed during complex or painful dental procedure. Human brain has a mesocortical pathway or dopamine pathway. This pathway is connected to VBT or ventral tegmental area in midbrain. So, laughing gas stimulates the mesocortical pathway and produces happiness. Apart from happiness, it also produces relief and even anesthesia. This is completely safe when used for children and pregnant women. It is reversible and non-allergic. This can be adjusted in various concentration to accommodate each patient based on how they respond to its effect. When used by dentist, the nitrous oxide is mixed with oxygen so that the patients can inhale this substance and benefit from its sedative effect without being deprived of oxygen. This is generally delivered to your body using a small mask in place over your nose so you can inhale it for the duration of your dental procedure. Does it have any side effect? The side effects include headache, nausea, vomiting, excessive shivering or even sweating. So this is all for today. So please like, share, subscribe for more videos.